Hi, right, so this is one of my uh, many seven mile bike rides to the boat. Uh, very beautiful scenery. <laughs> I think the big white, uh, oh, um, what do you call it? Sea ferries inside that dry stack over there. So, yeah. So I do seven miles there, seven miles back. All good fun. <laughs> Hi, um, so basically to end the video, there's this boat on Southampton Road. And it's been dumped here and Basically, probably clean up well with a jet wash, but it definitely needs a lot of work on the interior. Uh, see if I can take a video of the inside there. Got some decent chrome on it, some stainless steel stanchions, mast, similar to wave roll, there's rubber tyre around it. <laughs> anyway, this is the notice it's got on it. So, let's see. Basically, saying 3rd of April on 12 noon, they're going to remove it by the council uh, under section 41 11 of the local government uh, miscellaneous, miscellaneous provisions act 1982 uh, the council will charge you with your basically they have to take the boat as well if they can find who the owner is which I already posted this boat and someone said they knew the owner <laughs> But then obviously he's never picked it up. Uh, so, got some failings. What was it? Um, lazy jacks, that's what they call them. <laughs> I think it's called Rattle on the side there. Oh, Rattles, yeah, Rattles. See if there's anything on the back. No. Anyway, if you know anyone who owns it, tell them to get it as soon as possible. And thanks for watching my video. Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, so basically this is my dilemma at the moment. So I've got basically two pipes, one there and one there. And they're called scuppers. And basically they go down into the bottom there, into one pipe. And then basically go out through the back of the boat. Uh, so anyway um used to be a big board here it basically came up to here and same on the other side and you got kind of like channels uh to go through uh, so what i'm going to do is like a temporary fix for time being and do a smaller one and Obviously, some holes for the pipes to go through. Sick of flex it round so it don't leak. Then everything that rains off this hole, um, C deck to call it, um, will go into the lazarette, which is that. Uh, that's lazarette lid, and uh, this is a tiller. 
I basically move that like that, which moves the rudder. Uh, so, um, obviously, later on, I will get round to doing it higher, but I haven't got enough wood at the moment. Uh, so, I'm just going to get on with it, and uh, that'll be it. <laughs> Hey, so I've basically this light was always working on the right hand side. Oh well, basically the other left hand side as you come through the door. Uh, it's chucking it down outside, hence everything shut down. <laughs> Sorry for sneezing. <laughs> and I got these LED lights from um, eBay very very cheap 12 volt strips yeah you can cut them to any size you want and uh, I noticed this one flickering a bit so ended up being this mess of a panel here uh, which I've rewired most of it and behind it and then traveled another wire that was broken replaced that inside here if you can see anyway it goes through there and comes out here so uh, I've got this LED strip on this side and it's the first time this front cab in V-Burst got uh, actual um, lighting uh, this was the original light uh, and I'm going to put it back up where it was there because uh, it's now working and uh, now I've got to tidy up all the wiring get some proper glue for the strips and uh, probably another LED for the inside under there when I paint all that out where the anchor locker is yeah, beans and sausages. Yes, working brilliantly. Yeah. 